All right, I have restarted the computer, so let's see if we can do this again. I'm gonna move this screen over here. Okay. So, I want to actually, um, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys see my screens. do it like that okay so a little bit of background um, Rachel Joy Scott um, was the first victim of the Columbine shooting April the 20th 1999 um, I have since yesterday morning 6 a.m. my uh, meditation that I do every day brought me to the video um, from Goldcast where her brother had um, interviewed with them and they made a video of him telling the story of, you know, Rachel and, you know, his side of things and he was also at the school that day and he actually survived and got out. Um, his sister was the first person that um, died. Rachel did not suffer. Um, I don't believe that she did. Um, she had a very distinctive vision for her life and she made sure that she stuck to that so her death is pretty significant so her whole family including her brother have taken up the cause of um you know what rachel was really trying to portray um and get across to people while she was still here um so that's how i kind of got introduced to the story of rachel was during my meditation period sometimes i and listening to videos and I kind of let spirit lead me where I need to go so in viewing the video that Goldcast put out I believe it's like a 10 minute plus video I made it all the way through the video um, to 9 minutes and 44 seconds and in that 9 minute 44 second marker is when I saw um, what I believe to have been Rachel on her grave marker as it panned around um, the backside of his brother and showed the grave marker. So um, that's what kind of got me on my little mission yesterday morning. I ended up, I was able to place Rachel in the photo three times, do soul portraits for three different individual places that she is in the photo. I've only posted the one so far. Um, that's another thing is, you know, a lot of times the, the soul will appear multiple times in the portrait. Um, and that's kind of hard for people to understand and um, a lot of times I don't post all the places that I see somebody because it, it is it can be overwhelming it's overwhelming for me when I discover all the places that somebody can fit in the photo but so anyways um, you know I was able to successfully do that but upon doing that I you know kept running into this photo right here of her brother that he had posted, I believe. It's it's on one of his own pages, so. Uh, it's either his personal page or the um, Rachel Scott Ministries kind of organization is what they have now that they do. So it was on one of those pages that I got it, so. When I found this photo, um, you know, I was looking to see if I could see Rachel and maybe, you know, on her gravestone again. And you can kind of see, you know, a little bit of action here. It kind of looks like a face with maybe a hand up here. Or... But this area right here was what kept catching my attention. So I had mapped it out. And just kind of played around with the light a little bit to see, you know, what I could really see of it. <coughs> so... That led me through um, doing the, the soul portraits with Rachel and it had led me through those three all day yesterday. And I had, let's see what time that I had mapped this out because it was either last night or early today. I believe it was today because I don't think I even saw it because I went looking for more pictures 
Um, so yeah, it was today at two o'clock. So, um, so yeah, that's when I had um, you know started mapping out um, where I could see somebody. So all day, if you guys look at all my tabs up here. All day I have been on this quest to find this person that I can see right here and this is Craig Rachel's brother um, so he was kind of where I was let in was his gold cast video and so it was really you know this just all happened to me in the last hour and a half so 12 plus hours later <laughs> I finally was searching and I was finally able to find who it was that I felt like I was looking for it, but it literally took me, um, you know, just search after search after search. Let's see here, um, if I can bring you in to the right, I don't even remember everything that's up here. But all of this finally led me around, look right there is Jim Elliott. So, that is actually who I um, am here to show you guys to do the soul portrait. Now, I have only just found him um, just a few minutes before. So, yeah, you know, I was just kind of surfing around Rachel um, Joyce Scott Ministries. Um, here we have Beth, her mom's page. Um... Okay, this was Rachel's challenge. Um, that was a huge thing that got a lot of attention. Um, that's what really got Rachel's story going around. It really impacted a lot of people's lives. If you guys have a chance, look it up. It's um, Rachel's challenge. So, yeah, everything just kind of was leading me around to looking for who I could see in this picture. So when I went to Craig's page and I was on his pictures and stuff, I found a picture of him with the Louis Zamperini. Um, and so, you know, that kind of had me looking around trying to figure out who it was. Now, if you look at Louis Zamperini, and remember, I'm looking at this from a soul portraits perspective. So, let's get Lou up on the screen here. Okay, so, remember this is the area, and it's, I'm not really able to zoom in right now for you. But you can kind of see features, you can see eyes, you can see where a mouth would be. So, when, you know, I'm looking for somebody, you know, I don't want to spend time if I don't think that they, you know, just because... I found a picture of him with an older gentleman, um, you know, so it, it really was a, a quest to kind of surf around and be able to find um, all the places that Chris Scott had advertised in or, you know, he's a part of um, telling about his sister's story so that I could finally try to, you know, maybe get some insight on who... I'm seeing here because I know it's definitely not Rachel. I don't feel like it's Rachel. I definitely have felt the whole time like it was a male. I can see exactly what I'm looking for, um, looking at. So, you know, this was like Lou when he met Lou. So, you know, I've like really been like going back. This is January 2015 right now. Um... And, you know, looking at Lou, it, you know, it's really, this is where it comes in that I have to use intuition. Because, I mean, you can really tell when you looked at that and then you looked at um, Lou's picture here. It is possible and I could even, you know, try it and put it in there and see if it could work. But this is where I have to go with intuition. So that's what led me around to kind of keeping on surfing until um, I came across, I believe it should pop up now on this one. Oh, I forgot to screen record, so let me do that real quick while, just in case what happened earlier when it shut off on me. I'm using Wondershare Uniconverter. 
Oh, that's gonna let me. I am. Okay. Hopefully, it's gonna work, guys. It's acting pretty weird right now. So that's the software I use when I'm screen recording. Hopefully that'll go away. Uh oh. Hopefully. Okay, I didn't. Okay, so that's what led me around to Daryl Scott, which is the father of Rachel and Craig. I believe they had five children. Rachel was the third of five. So that kind of led me around here, surfing around his page. Hopefully it'll load up here for us. Um, this is how I kind of do it. I just go through and kind of see what clues I can pick up on. I find other people. So, this is as far as I got. You can see it's right at the top of his profile. Last time he posted was July 16th. It's July 25th now. So, July 15th. Here we go. Um, this was a whole entire post about Jim Elliott. And so, um, Jim Elliott had a favorite quote from, um, Jim Elliott that his daughter really loved. That was Rachel's hero. Um, so I went searching for Jim Elliott. And don't worry, the story's getting ready to end. <laughs> We're getting ready to do the soul portrait, I promise. And then, bam, Jim Elliott pops up. And the story of Jim Elliott is, like it says, incredible legacy. They were um, basically Christian missionaries who, um, you know, tried to make contact with tribesmen and ended up being speared to death. And then not too long after that, his wife had um, taken a trip and, um, you know, tried to make contact after they had killed her husband and it really, it did wonders, like it really started bridging the gap that, um, you know, that Jim Elliott was trying to do. So what all this has tied in to do with Jim Elliott is because Jim Elliott not only had his sister's favorite quote, but... I kept reading, I got all the way through it, and let me see where it says it. Even more amazing is that my son Craig played the stuntman role of Jim Elliott in a movie called Beyond the Gates of Splendor. And so immediately when I saw, you know, what Jim looked like, I, you know, seriously have a feeling that this is probably Jim. Jim, um, you know, like I said, Jim is a, um, dearly departed, so it would make sense that the significant role that Craig, Rachel, Joy Scott's brother, um, had played, um, is pretty significant to him, so that's what we are here to do, so you can see I've just been kind of reading up on Rachel and finding out about Rachel's challenge and how many people that she has really moved and changed a lot of people's a lot of people's um, viewpoints after Columbine so yeah so <laughs> I didn't even see this so this will be interesting if we could see a picture of Aunt Gwen so but we're gonna go ahead and try Jim Elliott because that's really who I believe that I can kind of see in the photo so we're going to do that. Um, don't forget to take a look at the ticker down below. If anybody is interested and um, you have a photo that kind of makes you feel some kind of way or, um, you know, something that you can maybe see something in or um, you're just missing somebody, you can even take a picture um, in the moment. That's really where I would like to get around to is uh, soul porches is when you're really, really missing the person that's close to your heart. 
have somebody take a quick picture of you or, you know, you take a quick picture of, you know, something that they loved or, you know, just make sure it has, you know, a pretty good amount of background in it. Um, Spirit will a lot of times use the lights and the shadows and the highlights and the um, background to, you know, put pieces of, you know, structure together for you. So it's always good to have a little background in the picture. Um, if you're even going to take a selfie, just maybe set it on a timer, set it, you know, out from you a few feet and, you know, take a picture if you're missing somebody. Um, it's kind of how it works. Intention is everything when it comes to soul portraits. So let's see, we're going to see if we can, um, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, this is it right here. Okay. So eight hours ago, you can see that I just put it in. Okay, so this is actually when I believe when I hearted it, yes, yeah, so there it is, this is as far as I had gotten because then I didn't know who I could see in the photo to even try. So I'm going to go in here on Jim Elliott, um, that is the picture that I feel like it is, so. I am going to, which is essentially this photo. Let me get rid of that and go back to the page I was on. Um, let me see how big. This is 1280 by 720, so that should be fine. That's 732 by 501. Let's try it. So I'm pretty sure... Like this was the five missionaries that got killed trying to make contact. They used to fly this little plane and, you know, try to make contact with people. Yep, there they are. There they are all named. So I am actually going to save a photo of that as well. Oh, this is, I think this is um, probably three of them. Yep, I believe so. That's pretty cool. Three of the five guys. Wives and kids. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. Save one of these. And I'll tell you guys the reason why I'm choosing this photo also. Oops, I already saved it. I wanted to go to this one. But I am using that particular image because... I just want to get this with all their names. Um... Um, I'm using that particular image because of the tilt of the face. So it's usually not really, I mean, sometimes it has been an issue before where, um, I know it's the person that, um, I'm trying to fit in the photo, but I don't have the right photo of them. So this is a really good um, representation of um, how I kind of look for the right photo to go in there um, as far as, you know, which way the, um, oh, this is a nice one too. I wish it was a little clearer. Oh, there it is. Wow. I wonder if that's a real picture of him. I'm going to save it. It literally looks like it could be. So we'll save that. I really like this one too. This is the picture that drew me in originally. Oh, that's nice. That's that picture that we just saved up close. Um, I really would love to know if that is really him. Okay, so that must be another guy that was with them. Um, he is no fool who gives what he cannot keep to gain what he cannot lose. So that was actually Rachel's favorite quote right there. So that might work as well. That photo, and that is a true photo of him, I believe, so. I am going to save that. 
But yeah, so that reminds me of what we were talking about. So the tilt of the head is really what um, I can see how the face is not straight. So we're going to go ahead and get into it. So this is the photo that we're working with. And I'm going to go ahead and... Which was the one that I said at first? Okay, so this one, which I do have the cutout of that. And I can actually cut it out, but I tend to not do that anymore. I used to cut out the image so it was only the person in the image. It makes it a lot easier um, when you have a, a picture that is large like this one. Because I have to try to get this face of gems about the same size, and it's definitely gem. This is so amazing, you guys. I just don't even know how I can express to you guys that this is just tremendous to be chosen to be able to bring this to you guys. It is such an honor. I mean, spirit is really just you know, letting me, um, you know, really get my bearings here doing soul portraits. It's just been so amazing at the same time as, you know, not everybody, um, understands. So, you know, that plays a little bit of a role, but it doesn't matter at this point because I know it has to be done, so... Hopefully the computer doesn't freeze again, you guys. I am recording, so hopefully if it does, I should probably make sure that it, it is not recording. Oh, it is recording. Okay, good. <laughs> it's still recording. Okay, I gotta see where I'm at since I just threw myself off. Okay, there he is. Let's go right here and see. So, we're going to need to do that. And a little bit of that. Oh, that was a little much. Now, This is definitely a process, so sometimes it comes super easy, sometimes it takes work, but it's always amazing nonetheless, so you just got to fit it, look at that, you just got to fit it in there the right way. Oh, look how good spirit is to us. Perfection. And, you know, just for the record, like I always say, there's no human. I am just a conduit for what spirit needs to do here, you guys. That is just the truth. This picture is at 11. Transparency, let's take it all the way out. May need a tad bit of adjusting. But that is pretty close. <laughs> Thank you, spirit. So it's pretty cool, right guys? I went live to show you this um, so that you guys can help me out and spread the word. I am going to be trying to get in contact with um, some of the universities that I've been hearing about that work with this type of phenomena. So... Um, it's been really, really um, life-changing for me to <laughs> look, you guys. This is so cool. It does need fitted in a little better. It could use a little. But, I mean, you have to understand that this is how spirit plays with light. So, where you can see these light points um, in the photo. Here we go. The lightest points in the photo, which is that. 
um, oftentimes are mapped out. So you can see like the shadow of where his real true structure in his face is. And you know, like I said, this does need um, adjusted a little. So let's try to do that real quick. It's kind of hard when it's this big of a photo. So we're just gonna have to eyeball it a little. Let's see what we did there, because that was a pretty big move. Look at that. We're getting closer. That may be it, you guys. That may just be it. My computer, of course, is being very slow. Well, thank you, Spirit. Spirit just pretty much popped that right into place for us. So, you know, this is what I want to kind of go live to show you guys. I need your help. I need um, the right eyes on this. And I know some of you good um, YouTube sleuths. Um, I know you guys are like, what are you doing? Why did you move it? <laughs> but it's okay, because it goes right back on. Once you see where it fits, then you know what you're dealing with, so. It goes back on pretty good. And if not, there's always an undo button, right? <laughs> there we go. So, what I like to look for is that facial structure. And that's exactly right. That's exactly how I saw it. Where you couldn't really see anything but the face. I mean, you guys can see that too. When it is... Let's just take it out of the picture. So you can see it says visible right there. Now we'll uncheck it. And you can see it says hidden. So there it is not in the picture at all. That's the face that I saw on the rock. And so... It's blocked by whatever that is. Oh, that's that. Okay. So I just got to, um, let's see, what was I doing? Oh, okay. So you can see that that was where I had mapped it out. Let's look at it in with that. Very nice. <laughs> let's bring that up. That's on 22 now. So I do feel like we still need an adjustment here. So we're going to do that. And it's really more or less what it is, is just kind of playing it around with it until it gets in the right spot. And I feel like that's what I saw where I saw it. So it's really literally just a matter of keeping working with the image. A lot of times it'll um, try to snap to grid. And so that'll throw you off a little bit. But you guys see I don't do anything except, um, you know, mess with the transparency and reduce size a little bit, you know, or make it bigger um, like you saw me do. I'm pretty, pretty, um, this is pretty spot on. So yeah, that is Jim Elliott. Believe it or not. So you guys can see all I'm really doing is reducing transparency, increasing or decreasing size. 
Sometimes you will see me um, when my transparency is all the way up. I will um, kind of play with, um, you know, lighting so that I can see if this is what I'm really seeing, how I'm supposed to place it. So it may be like an overlay mode, but there is never any like stretching or pooling um, of the photo to make it fit at all. It's whatever the photo is, either shrunk down or enlarged, and then the transparency of the picture. That is the only thing that I do, so. You guys just saw it right here. It took me all day <laughs> to find um, who I was seeing. So it's pretty, um, pretty cool for me to be able to piece together. Um, this is also why I um, put it in different lighting perspectives because now I can see it in a different way where it needs corrected a little. So we will do that real quick. Yeah, the computer's being really jumpy, you guys. I apologize. There, that might be it. Let's see. Let's put it back on no blending mode. So this is what I was talking about too, about, you know, trying to have the right angle for a picture. Like, you know, this is a little off. I can definitely see that it's a little off and there is a lot more pictures to try. So let's try another one really quickly since I've got you here. I don't even know what really, what pictures I have available. So let's look. I definitely want to find out Um, okay, because that was the real picture right there. I'm going to try this one. Um, I don't know. The angle isn't what I would exactly want, but it is what it is. Now we're going to get rid of that other part of the background. Now we have just that. Now this will be a lot easier to work with, bigger. Because we don't have the full background in here.
I don't know if you guys just saw that. I You heard the click, but the picture still moved. So, sometimes that happens. It's really weird when it does. I have often said that that is what spirit does. Spirit jumps the picture into place. Getting closer, friends. Okay, the picture keeps jumping back over. So we're just gonna see what happens when we do the transparency here. Come on, your feet's in here. Mickey. Hang on, Mama, I'm on live right now on YouTube. Did you feed him? Earlier today, yeah, it's been the whole day he's had it, yes. So, you guys can clearly see that, um, you know, you can see when I, when I zoom in up here from fitting that in. An interesting part about it also is, um, where the eye in the sky, the clouds are. So you can see it's kind of mapped out right here around that part. If we bring transparency in, you can see that it really does go that far. So, there you have it, right here on live. That is totally awesome. All right, you guys, I'm gonna hop off of here, maybe do a, a little bit more critiquing to it, but as of right now, it looks great. Super thankful. Um, you can really tell the bone structure and everything. I'm on live right now, Mom, on YouTube. I know, go ahead. Okay, well, I didn't know if you wanted to be on YouTube Live. No. Well, you are right now. Sorry. <laughs> I just wanted to show him where his food is. He's in there. He knows. Eating. She's He's... been in there eating it. Okay. Yeah. So, all right, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and hop off of here. I want to thank you guys for joining me and tuning in. More, more soul portraits to come. Um, this is just a, a quick example that I wanted to give you guys to let you guys see how it does happen um, from start to finish. Like I said, it was a whole day of looking for who I thought I could see in the photo, had no clue. And now I kind of solved that mystery today. So I am gonna actually post this, um, these results right here as well as the other ones that I have of Rachel. 
And I can pop those up here real quick. And let you guys see if I have those saved on here. So I'll just go really quickly to my Facebook page. Well, it's taken a while to load up, so I'm going to go ahead and hop off of here, and I will talk to you guys soon. I'll post those pictures, and we'll see you when we get ready to do some more soul portraits. Okay, here we go. It's popping up, of course, when I'm getting ready to hop off. Um, yeah, it's probably not going to work. So, like I said, guys, I'll go ahead and post those pictures and get that out so you guys can see that. And we'll talk to you soon on the next Soul Portraits by Spirit. I'm Nikki Golden. Thanks for watching. Peace.